Oh, I can hear them. Oh shit, is there anyone else on the server tie? I didn't even think to check, mate. Nope, it's just us, mate. There they go, they're coming from the same bloody places. Oh, fucking beans, really? Oh, I'm hitting that bloody thing again! Got me to uh, exploding crossbow bomb on time. Not a bad little barrier that I sat in there, is it? I just can't keep up with him. That <laughs> <laughs> very fast firing uh, sniper off of that side. It's a really move across here, so it's uh, more. Whoa, what the hell? I think I'm hitting the fuse box, aren't I? Work time. And you're in the wall time. You fucking bitch! <laughs> she proper jinxed me there. Come on, mate, we got this, dude. I'm out. I'm out, time. Dragon, mate. Just like go for it. Any that get past like where I am now, Tone, leave them to me, mate. I'll leave you to take them out. Once they get onto this top part, dude, leave them to me. If any more come in. They get up on the ridge, I'll uh, get in with a chainsaw. No, I didn't want to work. Uh, R7, I know what you're saying about sort of. I didn't want to get too close to Tony. It's amazing how easy it is for us to like just end up twanging one another. The highest risk we've got in a tier one is shooting each other, believe it or not. So I, I just wanted to stay well away. Tony got a, a sweet spot, so I thought I'd leave him to it. 
It's amazing how easy it is when you zoom down and someone just shuffles just that, you know, a fraction of an inch and they end up banging in the middle of your bloody scope. What's that, Black Death? Right, I'm going to start uh, hacking them up, town. I do like my tier one boards, I have to say. Shot Tony. Well done, mate. That went that went remarkably well. Nice little tier one. I don't think that many even hit the uh, bottom. To be fair, mate. First little wave sort of smacked up against us, but. It's amazing what that just that little bank of sand did, wasn't it? I mean, that really slowed them down. It's only had a very nice uh, angle on that lot there, though. Yeah, we want to get the bones. It is really all I'm not, I'm not even worried about looting. The only reason I loot them is that I can get the corpse to, to dig out quicker, really. If you don't loot them, it's a tip fortune game, wasn't it? Um, see, I was going up to the zombies like this and doing this. It takes forever. You just quickly loot them. You get the like the viscera pile, which you can then uh, mash up to the bones a lot quicker. Nice one, Tiny. A pleasure, as always, sir. Got incoming somewhere. Where is she? Minx has vanished on me, look. Getting a little bit of brass out of it as well. See you later, Andy. Take care, dude. Thanks for joining us, mate. What's that, Razor? Have you tried a log spike fully upgraded with barbed wire? Uh, we, we, we've got better than barbed wire, mate. We use uh, the razor wire. Which is uh, godly, to be quite honest. You get less bones doing this? Oh shit, I didn't know that, really. Sandy or Claire. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'd love to mod in, Tony, is um, like, like one of those air raid clacks and things that you, you can actually like animate, wind it up, like an air raid noise as, as the, uh, the zombies income, or as, as the zomb zombies are incoming. They've never really done anything with sound, so it could be something we could try. Might not get an animation on it, but we could have something we could interact with that would... Uh, have a server-wide klaxon noise. What, is it better just to whack him with a fire axe? You're kidding me, really? After all this time, now you tell me? What, just, just better doing this, are you? Oh, fucking hell. What, we get we get more out of that as well, or just uh, just quicker? Oh my god, that is so much faster! I can't believe that. I suppose that, I suppose that any damage solid you can uh, occasionally damage your block. I suppose nothing in the bigger picture after. Uh, I can't believe that, guys. Thank you. Oh, uh, Grum on the garage doors. Is there any way to change it so it looks like bars? Like, um. Not really, mate. No, but there is there is a there is um a mod that adds prison cell doors, but it's it's obviously not as wide. It's it's only one block wide as opposed to the garage door, which is five. Uh, we would have to completely change the three D asset for it, mate. Uh, and at the moment, obviously, it's just a single sheet with a single texture wrapped around it. 
So, no. Not not at the minute, dude. Not at the minute. Hardly took any damage there, to be fair. I think we lost like two razor wire uh, and a little bit of a spike. Easy to hit them as well. Uh, sometimes it can be quite hard targeting them with the uh, the hunting knife. Excellent! Bish bash bosh job bloody dad. Oh, hang on. Coffee. Oh, that's bad. What was that FT38? Is there any... I'm sorry, is there no risk of it... There's an extremely high chance of getting killed in this world, especially since it's uh, about to get cranked up to max difficulty after the stream. And don't forget our characters are pretty good, mate. Probably gives you uh, a false sense of uh, security to some degree. I mean, I've got 250 health, mate, which is uh, as high as you can possibly get. I mean, my armor isn't the best, but, you know, if I get twanged by a couple of zombies, um, especially if you know confined space or anything, then yeah, I'll, I'll go down like a sack of shit, dude. As has happened on many an occasion. Uh, okay, so that goes there, that goes there. Some more of this tomato juice. Get the empty bottles. We are getting empty bottles, right? Didn't forget to... Yeah, it's okay. So everything to do with the tomatoes, I seem to have uh, had a bit of a, a... A dodgy moment with them. I, I keep changing the uh, 114 mod pack. But I always seem to forget tomato uh, changes. I don't know why. There's nothing special about the tomatoes. <laughs> When's the next seventh day? Uh, it would be in seven days, mate. So 939 at the moment. So add seven to that. It's magic. <laughs> uh, da -da 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 -da. We didn't take any damage, so that's all good. Let's throw the paracetamol. Put the grumbasco. Actually, we'll tell you what we'll do. We'll make some. Uh, we'll make some grum curry. Meat stew, rum curry. Uh, animal hides, blood. Ah, right, yes, actually. Ah, crap, I forgot to put these away. Look. Um, they can... Oh, no, no, no. Down there, that can... So what I'll do, I'll take three bandages because we're about to go and do repair work, aren't we? Put everything away. Get the nail gun out. Repair the base, and we're done, aren't we? At least we've got it all organised again. I was, at one point, I was I was really struggling in here. I just felt like we'd, we'd done a lot of work at getting the uh, inventory system how I wanted it, and then, and then every now and again, it just something just felt off, and it, it's still that food chest. It's it's really throwing me. I think it's because it's got the fishing gear in there. If I could just get rid of the fishing gear, we, we might be able to um, make a bit more sense of it. What am I missing up here, guys? Oh, 762 ammo. Uh, so that can all go back. So all I need right now is my nail gun, which will replace my hammer. Uh, some... Iron and some concrete. They're all wacky. Man. And what's the other thing I need? Razor wire. Which I'm sure we made a load of that last time. We did. Right, so that's everything we need to get everything patched back up. So we'll actually be done by four o'clock. I mean, it's still actually technically night time. Have you ever had a tomato sandwich? Um, not just a tomato sandwich, no. But when I was little, I used to like... Uh, it's just like, uh, you know, like the bloomer loaves. I used to like that with uh, some nice mature cheddar and some um, tomatoes on. I've never had just a tomato sandwich. No. I do like tomatoes, though, dude. Very, I'm very keen on tomatoes. I like baby tomatoes as well.
Can you increase the feather spawn slightly at the same time, please, as we'll be going through twice as many? Nope. What's the point in that? Nope, 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 nope. Can't increase the difficulty and then increase the loot drops. That's shocking, Mojo. Come on, sir. <laughs> we'll see how it goes for a week. Otherwise, it won't be, a, it won't be an accurate test, will it? Well, is this, do you think it's seriously going to take us, like, two to three headshots to kill a zombie now with an arrow, then? On that difficulty? Fucking hell, I didn't know it was that bad. That's shocking, dude. Let's raise a wire back in. What's that, mice? Why keep the sandwiches? I can use them for these lot, uh, for fishing lures. So originally the fishing lures were mouldy bread, and I just felt that was way too expensive. So we've kept in mouldy bread now, but also added an old sham sandwich equivalent. And obviously, you know, you know, for like the fishing lure fives, which I can't make because my fishing skill isn't high enough. Um, you need things like baked potato, paper and all sorts. Clay. What the fuck? Clay. That's an interesting one. Uh... What can I make up? I can make up some fishing lure too. So sham sandwich call me a bottle of water on paper. I think that's it, isn't it? We might have taken a little bit of damage up top. In fact, I think we've actually taken quite a bit of damage here and there up top. So let's just uh, sort that out. Taking the bloody lights down attacks all the time. I, so, I really, 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 really want the uh, the power mod to work. I would so love to have one of those uh, flick switches at the bottom of each of these. It just kills the lights. It'd just be fucking awesome. You know, it'll make your like your horde prep. You know, it'd drop it down to like literally sort of about ten seconds. <laughs> Is Tony already uh, left for home, has he? You'd rather pass away than eat a tomato. Wait, don't you like tomatoes, Katie? Really, mate? Oh, wow. I love tomatoes, dude. They can, I mean, you can definitely overdo it with tomatoes. Uh, but, but I do like them in general. Toasted bread, mayo, tomatoes, and salt and pepper. I, I, can't, I can't, even, can't even picture that, mate. That's an interesting quagmire. It went from two hours to six hours when you put it on max. I don't know why everyone keeps... I, I never, ever once put it on maximum, Mojo. If I did, it was a complete mistake. I, I can't, honestly can't remember having put it on, on to maximum settings, but I'll, I'll take your word for it. So, it, But at the moment, it only takes one arrow to headshot a zombie, mate. So hopefully it'll only take two, maybe three. But I, I've got to admit, that is, that's a lot of freaking... Uh... Mind you, if we introduce the sky bow mojo... Dun, dun, dun! Of which there'll only be one on the server, which will be mine. <laughs> is that everything done? You put it all away? What's that, Spooner? Is that cobble or destroyed stone? Uh, this is a uh, flagstone, mate. Just the old uh... flagstone blocks. Just requires cobblestone. Very nice, actually. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's a nice texture, dude. It's just bright enough um, for me for me to be happy with it. There's, there's a lot of blocks in this game that are way too dark, in my opinion. How come you didn't have any tank zombies, police zombies? Because it was a tier, uh, tier one, Dr. Zeus. Tier one is just like your normal zombies. So you won't get any uh, of the fancy pants stuff on a on a horde like that, mate. It's, it's basically a walk in the park of tier one. 
quite literally. You could, well, I reckon, to be honest, if we went out there with chainsaws, we'd still probably make it. We'd have to slam in some healing kits and maybe a couple of bandages, and the dogs might get a bit too close for comfort. But I'm pretty confident Hello. if we went out as a team, Tony and I, with a couple of with a couple of uh, couple of chainsaws. As long as we've got some uh, repair kits and maybe even a second chainsaw to switch out, so you're not going to have downtime repairing it. I reckon we could probably stay on top, mate. Uh, make, make sure we've got, you know, the armor fully kitted out, things like that. Hello? Right, crossbow bolts have got to go back. I need to make some 762 rounds. So, I am going to start making uh, cases, <coughs> bullet casings. Let's make 500. And we're also going to make tips. Leg tips. Thank you for the follows there. Hello? Thank you very much. Oh, can we make. Oh, what the hell? I'm out of leg? Really? Really? Really, really? Put these in there. 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 Leg. Tips. 339. That'll do us. Right, let's go mining. Uh, in which case, what we'll do is we will take a little bit of forged steel. And we shall make ourselves a new steel pickaxe. Let's go to the mine. Thank you for the follow, Razor World and Jay. And Deflexin and everybody else that I've missed. I do apologize. How many players on this server? Is it, it is a PvP. It, well, it's, put it this way. You can kill each other uh, as our... Uh, at the moment, there's just Tony and I on it. Oh, in fact, Tony's got now. Um... Yeah, well, there, there've been there's been a fair few PVP kills, but they've not been done like intentionally. Uh, we, we've kind of got a bit of a code of conduct at the moment. No doubt, once uh, Alpha 15 comes out, we'll probably end up with at least a weekend of all out just murdering each other. But uh, I, I think the novelty of that in a game like this wears off extremely quickly. To be fair, I, I can't. Remember, I think we've got something like ten players at most on it. Uh, we we don't normally have that many on simultaneously. Tends to get quite busy of an evening, I noticed. But I, I don't normally stream of an evening, so... I mean, PvP's al allowed if, if people want to do it consensually. You know, if Mojo Pina and a couple of us all, all want to have a bit of a, a battle, then by all means go for it. But what we're not doing is... Uh, it's too easy, mate. It, you know, there's, there's PvP and then there's, 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 there's just simply just griefing. I mean, there's nothing to stop me taking my... Hunting rifle, going to Tony's lands and, and like shooting him in the face while he's really busy working on a build. It's, it's just fucking ridiculous, mate. The, the game just isn't designed for PvP. It, it's not Rust and it never will be. And I, I think even Mad Mole himself has quite often mentioned that, you know, the, the game was never designed to be, you know, a, a balanced PvP experience. I mean, I, I could probably take someone out or someone could take me out with a sniper rifle. I wouldn't even know they were there. I'd just simply be dead, you know? It, it's. It, 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 PvP in this game, to all intents and purposes, doesn't exist. It's just that would just be griefing. I suppose what you could do is, um, you know, you know, you could give, uh, and that, that was always the original idea. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where is that massive coal deposit? Because it's not down here, is it? Oh, I can't remember where it was, guys. Uh, we, we found like a really, really rich vein, didn't we? Was it in here? Is it in the main mine shaft? Ah, oh, crap. I'm starting to think it was back near the entrance. I'm sure we gave up on this because I was worried about collapse. Well, did we not end up tunneling off all the way down here? I think we did, didn't we? Thank you for the follow, Senaloos. Oh, here it is. Here it is. We found it. Jackpot. Whoop, whoop. You only play Matt because it's what you have at the moment. Uh, but I'm so done with it. You want a PC so badly. <laughs> Isn't your Mac worth a, a, like a fairly hefty chunk of cash, mate? Maybe, maybe you could do it. Do a trade for someone. I've always wanted a Mac, dude. You have Veral Fell Zombies turn on. What do you mean by that? Uh, we've got them so that they, they run of an evening. We don't have them running in daytime. 
You're right, quells. Yeah, you know, you know, I'm, I'm just making gunpowder, mate. I, when I say coal, wherever I go for coal, I tend to get nitrate anyway. It seems to work hand in hand. Let's just make sure we're not burrowing underneath anything important. Oh, if you, oh, if you had your head, good fortune. Ooh, is it looking pretty? <laughs> is it, we got it, we, you're going purple way. Can he turn out nice? What, wasn't a train wreck, no? Hide yourself away for six weeks, let it grow out, no? <laughs> doing on this front. Gunpowder, 220 already. I think it's three, so that's, that's, what? Is it, that's about 70 rounds, but... Might as well get, I might actually start using the coal a little bit in the furnaces. It's something I've never ever done, but um, if, if for any reason we need to start making a shit ton of concrete, I might start, might start doing that. I think there's definitely a few things they need to balance in this game. I think farming, uh, it'd be interesting to see what they've got planned for Alpha 50. That definitely needs to calm the fuck down. It, it's just way too fast. It's just way too fast. And, and the problem is that, that that issue becomes even more pronounced on a multiplayer server. Um, from having to dig around in the code, the premise is actually uh, real time. So if, if, for example, you put a growth cycle in the code of 80 minutes, that means it's actually 80 minutes in real time for, for that cycle of growth to occur. So if you can imagine if the server's running, uh, you, you can literally have like crops coming out of your ear in no time, even though you're not even playing the game. So I, I think what what's quite interesting, what what... Can anyone remember, right, on the Alpha 15 preview, did, did Joel say that you needed water to plant crops? Or is that, is that no longer a thing? Were, were they reintroducing a water requirement or not? Or have they simply just slowed growth down? Because the slowed growth is going to be like uh, an issue on servers. It's, it's not going to make any fucking difference. So I, I really, really hope we can get Paco's farming mod in, where your crops will only grow while they've got water, but water depletes over time. So in other words, even if you log off, your plants might not hit the next growth cycle because you're not there to actually top them up with water. As long as they don't actually die, then that seems like a pretty reasonable balance, to be honest. It is purple. Did it? Oh, I don't. Oh, I didn't see that for you. What, legit purple? Or just, just like a, a, a gentle purple? <laughs> purple? Purple like my, uh, my weapons. <laughs> like proper purple. Like your name, purple. Well, that's your name. Like Grumbot purple. Let's have a look. What's that? Is that a linky link? <gasps> no way! It is actually purple purple. It's almost purpley blue. What happens? What, what, <laughs> it's very straight fortune. Oh, nice one, mate. That looks pretty... That looks fucking pretty tasty, mate. That's come out all right, isn't it? Good job. Good job. <laughs> Were you chuffed with it? Is, is that exactly what you wanted? That looks wicked, mate. Rather sexy. They've randomised growth. Yeah, but I mean, it's only randomised in the sense that, um, you know, you plant two, two ears of corn and one will be finished in 80 minutes and one might, you know, might take 90 minutes. It's not, it's, it's not like a game changer, is it? It just means that you can't just go and guarantee farm a crop after 80 minutes. I should imagine the randomness of it is fairly, fairly limited. I can't imagine them having it like one ear of corn will take 80 minutes and another era corn will take like fucking 180 minutes. I bet there's only a little bit of a difference. Just to make it look, I suppose, a little bit more realistic, maybe. 
So you can't just like guarantee go back at four o'clock in the morning and just farm exactly 100 cotton. You might you, you might only get 80 and have to go back for the other 20 in a, you know in 20 minutes or something. I can't imagine that. I mean, who knows though? I mean, God knows. <laughs> 45 minutes to straighten it. Fucking hell, mate. <laughs> How did she straighten it? With hair straighteners? I didn't think you allowed heat on your hair. Did it use a fucking iron, did you? Oh, that, oh, so that, oh, hang on. Sorry, Fortune. I didn't see that that you said there. So you're talking actually like a matter of days in difference. So, oh, my God. So that, oh, they've really extended out then. So they're going at like three-day cycles. Wow. That's shocking. That is shocking. That's a big change. I, I, I legit only thought they were going to um, change the, like, the, the, the length of growth by a small amount and then just add that random factor. Wow, that, that, that. That's pretty mad. Sorry, just having a wee natter there. How are we doing on this uh, gunpowder front? Not too bad, not too bad at all. Surplus of the old coal again, as always, but... I mean, a, a week sounds right. I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't have any issues with that, to be honest, Fortune. Uh, a, a week to me sounds good, you know? You're still going to be able to get that, you know, ridiculous farm up if you play for long enough, where, where essentially food is no longer an issue. But it's going to take you a lot longer to get there. It, it also means every time you find a seed in the first couple of weeks, it, it's going to make a massive difference to how fast you can get that farm up. Like I said, on a server, though, it, it doesn't really... It just becomes, like, almost broken, doesn't it? I mean, this server... I mean, it doesn't run 24-7, but it certainly runs a fair, fair old whack. It must be pretty long between cuts then, Jan. See, see it's actually like uh, three months between cuts. How long does it get in that three months, mate? Yeah, I, I think a week is reasonable. Uh, I think that's a really nice balance. You know, plant them week one. Uh, you know, you, you, you're looking at the back end of that week, early week two before... Uh, before you get any, you know, any fresh produce out of it. Hello? I mean, I'm, I'm trying to mod everything so that you only get, like, uh, a max of two seeds out, out of each crop as well. I mean, tomatoes are running at four tomatoes, which potentially then becomes eight seeds. It's, it's kind of quite hard to balance it, to be honest. You know, it, it seems daft up this beautiful, huge tomato plant, but and yet, and if, if you grew one tomato plant, the amount of seeds you get out of it would be fucking shocking. But... You know, you, you sort of got a balanced gameplay versus like real life. Haven't you? Horn takes 90 days. Is it that fast? Jesus Christ. What's so that's from being planted as a corn seed to actually being harvested? It only takes three months. Wow. I didn't know that, mate. That's 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 crazy. You're right, Liam. Uh, the next horde's not... You just, literally just missed the tier one, mate. You literally just missed it. About 10, 15 minutes back. Well, it may be a bit longer than that, but... Yeah, you just missed one, mate. 
Thrash Mo TV. Thank you very much for the follow, sir. Yeah, I mean, there's no point having, you know, a, t a tomato seed take three weeks to grow, which, you know, you might argue is balanced, then be able to get like 600 fucking seeds out of it. You, you know, you just break it as an in game mechanic again, don't you? Thank you very much, Jeremy. Thanks for the follow, mate. Three months, it's one of the longer. I always thought corn would take quite a while because it's just such a massive thing. Oh, isn't corn like particularly susceptible to disease? I don't have to put like lots of weird things on sweet corn these days to stop it uh, getting eaten and mold and fungal infections and stuff. So tomatoes and runner beans. Runner beans are amazing. Runner beans are actually a really beautiful plant as well. They actually look really nice with the red flowers. Um, and there's loads of different ways to grow them. You know, you can have them in sort of tripods. So you can have them going up and across horizontally. Runner beans are awesome. They look amazing. They're such a wonderfully uh, rich plant just to grow anyway. Really dense green foliage, beautiful red flowers. And then, of course, you've got about 300 pounds of beans to come off them. Tomatoes are, tomatoes are like super awesome as well because tomatoes are like really easy to grow. And there's something really nice about, you know, plucking them off uh, when they're still kind of just on that, just that green to red and, you know, just letting them uh, ripen up on a windowsill on a plate or something. Gorgeous. Hello. <laughs> so basically you don't like mushrooms or tomatoes. That's shocking. That's just shocking. What's the matter with you, woman? How can you live without mushrooms and tomatoes? It just, that's just awful. I don't like growing potatoes. I'm not a fan of potato growing. Bit boring tatties. Not a lot, not a lot to see with a tatty. Whereas a tomato and a runner bean, beautiful plants anyway. Carrots can be all right. I tell you what, I'm really nice at growing courgettes because they kind of just like flop out like a melon on top, don't they? I've got I've got some courgettes this year. I'm not I'm not don't really like courgettes, but uh, my girlfriend likes them. The smell of tomato plant puts off is gaggy juicy. No, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> you, see, you, you can well, you can really smell a tomato plant to the point where it makes you want to hurl that shocking fortune. I'm going to send you a, a fake mystery Jaffa cake parcel that's just going to be full of um, huge gilled fungal mushrooms and uh, rotten tomatoes, mate. I think you'd love it. And then you can eat it with some white pizza and a lettuce leaf. Uh, How do you get your wellness to go so high? Um, well, the max is 200 anyway. So as long as you eat good food, which I haven't got any to show you, most food's got like a wellness um, rating. So some food will obviously drop your wellness. Some food will uh, increase your wellness. Depending on if you've got mods on them, I suppose. But you, just, you need to eat like really nutritious foods like meat stew in the vanilla game. Um, or vegetable stew. Things like that. Bacon and eggs. That will slowly increase your wellness. Uh, you can also try vitamins. Uh... Don't forget, it gets exponentially harder to increase your wellness the higher it gets. So early on, say a food gives you two wellness, uh, you do actually need more and more points to, uh, to to sort of steadily increase it. And if you want to get it above 200, you have to put points in a skill called Health Nut. And there's five tiers of Health Nut, and each one gives you an additional 10 maximum minimum wellness. So very, 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 very good uh, skill. Something I invest in extremely quickly, to be honest. Why don't I use the auger? I don't use the auger for rock because it's not as quick uh, as me single tapping it like this. And it also requires fuel. And it also requires repairs. And it's also extremely noisy. So it's actually more productive for me to do it this way. Like, significantly more productive. The only time I use the auger is if I need sand or clay. Uh, in which case, the auger simply cannot be beaten. We're looking, we're looking pretty good here, to be, uh, to be fair. I mean, what have we got? 
four, seven. We've already got five hundred. I'm just, I'm just gonna go for a little bit longer. I mean, it's not even midday post hoard, so might as well just grab it while we're here. And that's, I mean, beast. I mean, that, that's the fourth reason. Uh, I mean, I, I, the orca is a nightmare, mate. I mean, it really is. It, it's way too noisy in game. Uh, you know, you've got to turn your game sound down if you really want to play about with it. And like Beast, it says, I've got some control over where I'm hitting with this. Um, with, with the Orc, it, it's bouncing around and you start getting disorientated and you got to stop every couple of seconds and reload it. Then you got to stop every few minutes to bloody repair it. Uh, and it, it, it's just not not efficient at all compared to uh, a high, high minus 69 skill with um, sexual Tyrannosaurus and a couple of the stamina reducing, or I suppose stamina drain reduction. Um, skills uh, and a good quality pick, to be fair. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm not worried about quality, Joe, in the slightest, Jan. Uh, really not worried about it. It's a skill I will very rarely take, I, I don't think. Uh, I, I tend to play the game for such a long amount of time. I know a lot of people like, oh, gotta get quality, Joe, gotta get quality, Joe. I don't, I don't worry about it. As long as I've got some sort of uh, basic shotgun that will at least stun a dog, I'm, I'm quite happy at the moment. Claw hammer replaces the stone axe, yep. And then, then the, the nail gun replaces the claw hammer. Right, I think we're about full, so I think we'll leave it there. Uh, <laughs> is that actually the way out? It's not, is it? I have no idea. Oh, it is. It is. Wow. You're right, Jeremy. Yeah, the claw hammer is used for um, this sort of stuff. Look, so say you've got a wooden frame. It's how you upgrade and repair things. Like uh, like, like Jan just said later on, you'll you'll get a nail gun, which is like it's just like ridiculously fast, mate. So you can upgrade things like spikes with a nail gun, uh, a, 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 just at an absolutely ridiculous rate. What have we actually got in here? Well, I need the stone. I'll tell you, what, I'll leave the sand in, and I'll take that. I've got a nice batch of uh, iron there as well. Worked out quite nice. What's that, mate? Uh, fix ear plugs like like in Armor Three. What do you mean, dude? Got Mustafa. Yeah, yeah, beast. Bit of a grum natter. <laughs> oh, wow, I can't believe how hot it's getting. It's it, weather at the moment is just like bonkers. It, I mean, it's really, really nice, but at this time of day, it just seems to. I don't know what it is. The humidity just seems to suddenly spike. It seems no rhyme nor reason to it. It's just, it's just monstrous. What's it like your end fortune? Is it like ridiculously hot? <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Let's get up there. Oh, I actually thought I'd still got a broken leg. Apparently I haven't. <laughs> I wonder if Tony's is all right. You're right, Guardian. How you doing, mate? Oh, I need to take all the lights down. Let's, let's drop all this crap off first. At least we get to get a start on the chain link fence at long last. Uh, it, I mean, it's nothing even that fancy. It's only going to take us like a couple of hours or I thought just to knock it all up. But You know, I, I just want to see what impact it has um, frame rate wise. It'd be interesting if we could drag Tony or someone over here. Uh, over the next couple of days once we've got the chain link fence up and see if it affects them in any way. I'm just a little concerned about how the shadows work with it. Oh my god. I'll tell you what, let's take this stone out of here. Got so many resources. So many resources. It's because we've just um, just nothing but flagstone for so long, isn't it? So like everything else is just uh it's just increasing exponentially really. Let's take that oh god this is crazy. Absolutely crazy. I mean it's it's interesting. What what did we originally come to Bear Balls Oasis for? 
to make a concrete production facility. And look at it. It's, it's just crazy. I've got that much uh, in terms of resources for concrete. It, it really is just it's bonkers, mate. Absolutely bonkers. Let's grab those bullet casings and tips. Let's make some more tips. Uh, so if we make, what, 161 of... Oh. 61. Have I got a chest that has actually got any more space for sand? I'll tell you what, I'm just going to put it on this one. Four's end is always hot. That's shocking, Simpsy. <laughs> I think Tony's still here because his bike's still here, actually. Oh, he logged out, didn't he? He logged out. Probably on Connor duty. <laughs> it's your bloody turn, Tony. Change that bloody nappy, mate. Get the milk on. Where's the dummy? <laughs> Bet he's loving his time off, isn't he? He's a lucky man, isn't he? Right, uh, I want to take those out. I want to start making seven. I'll tell you what, actually, I'll tell you what. Look, come on. Let's do it properly. Let's use this. Let's make. Oh no, hang on, because I actually want them right now. This isn't surplus. I'm completely out of 762 rounds. Stop, stop, stop. You lot need to go in here. 707. Uh. Throw those in there. There. Whoa. So 560 of each of those. Gunpowder is going away nicely. We've got some extra spare lead already smelted up. We've got a pickaxe which is completely mullered to so scrap that. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have bothered, should I? Um, just cancel it, get rid of it. It's not worth it. Right. That's it, we've done. Um, let's have a think then. Chain link fence. First of all, we're going to need to make a garage door. We need to decide where that's actually going to go. So I need some batteries. Have we got any charged batteries? I'm sure I just saw some of those. Yes, we have. Uh, half stack. Short iron pipes. Have we got any of those over here? Oh, wow. It looks like everyone's got really nice weather. It's 23 degrees in Brum. You're right, Cliff. How are you doing? It sounds a little bit cooler in Brum than it is where I am, mate. I'll have to give my uh, brother a ring. See if he's struggling. You're right, Trevor. Why do I have a hole in the middle of the room? It's an elevator. Dang, dang, dang. You didn't see that one coming, did you, Jeremy? Hazy, hot, humid with a chance of thunderstorms. Oh, God, that sounds nightmarish, doesn't it? 15 iron pipes. Ten springs. Careful. Some forged arms. So springs, ten. Yes, yes, yes. Let's head back. I want my generator to work. One day. One day. Lock this up. Tony's around. <laughs> With a nail gun. <laughs> you never know, dear. Bojo will start whispering naughty things in his ear. <laughs> that didn't we look for ages for Trevor as well? We we really did look for a long time, didn't we, Fortune? We we legit thought he was long gone. He's here, Tone! Tone, we've found him! We've found Trevor! <laughs> uh, oh, 30. Oh, sorry, my bad. I'll tell you what, I'll take it all out then. Let's make another garage door. 
Right. We did, we, like I said, this isn't anything fancy. Uh, we are literally just going to go for, I think, just a flagstone entrance. Uh, just really, really simple. Probably throw some torches up and on it, mate. Oh, no. No, no. We'll, uh, we'll have uh, electric lights over there. Um, I don't want it to be anything too fancy because it's literally going to get battered. Uh, it, it's not really there for durability, so that the, you know, the chain link fence, which I also need to steal for, otherwise we ain't going nowhere. Is that all we've got? I need this bubbling up. Let's throw a load of wood in. What do we kind of need? Uh, let's throw a couple of thousand stone. Take the lead out. 23,000 iron. I reckon I'm going to need clay, aren't I? Yep, like that. Uh, you and you need to come out. Let's take a thousand. Throw those in. Get that bubbling up. And I want to make... Wow, we are way behind schedule. Because I've not been smelting clay. I completely forgot about it. Shit! Shit, shit, shit! You lot. Oh, dude, really? Oh, that's gonna bug out now, isn't it? Fuck. Really? Come on. I can't stand these lights on in the daytime. It's just way too much bloom. Uh, I, I, surely it would be really... I'll I, I tell you what. Maybe we need a mod. There's, there's got to be a way to have those toggleable. Uh, even if we don't make them a legit part of the power mod. Oh, is it... Oh, dear, Smed. That's not so nice, mate. <laughs> that is not so nice, dude. <laughs> So, so, sorry, sorry, bud. So everyone else in the whole world's got great weather apart from Smed. That sucks, man. <laughs> Bloody hell, Fortune. You, you're a danger to this channel, mate. A danger. <laughs> we get all these all these Twitch messages after this. Like, what did I get timed out for? I ain't got a clue, mate. I don't know. I don't know. No idea. And we find out Fortune sat on a phone. <laughs> oh dear. You know what that I think I think that deserves a song, don't you? This is why Fortune sometimes times people out. Is that the last of them? Oh, where is the walrus? The flippy flappy walrus. You know you're gonna have to do it. Flip, flap, flop. Flippity, flappity, floppity, flip. She is the walrus. <laughs> uh, what was I actually doing? Oh, I completely lost the plot now. Um, oh, garage door. Yes. So, the plan was... Now that we've actually flattened it all out, was to actually have like a primary exit. Now, the road we've currently got, I see it's not going to make sense to do it over here, is it? At the moment, we've got like a drop off. Oh, God, there's actually nowhere for me to put one. There is literally nowhere for me to put a bloody uh, a garage door. Wait, where's going to be the best place to exit? Here? No? Hang on. I, I suppose I, I suppose it might look quite cool if we kind of terraform down there, but then I suppose the, the other issue you've got is if zombies fall into like a terraformed area, and they're not just going to smash it anyway. Hmm. Oh, who's for whose birthday is it? You're up, Buck. When was your birthday, mate? Oh, yours was two weeks ago. 
Uh, remove the anti hill and put one there. No, no, no. It's it's it's, it's an exit. It's, it's a primary exit. It's just I don't know. It just doesn't feel right putting it here. I suppose it would be directly opposite the pyramid. There's not a huge amount of terraforming to do over there. Uh, where's the bunker? Here's the bunker, look. It's travelling the perfectly straight line. It, it does go up before it comes back down, doesn't it? Oh, that's a, that's a pisser, that is, mate. Can't say I'm overly impressed with that. Um... The alternative is to actually do it all the way over here. So I, I suppose you'd come up and off the ramp. Let's go on the bike and let's just let's see how it feels. It's kind of weird because I really kind of expected it to be over there. We want, it, we, want it, we want the exit to be on flat terrain. Oh, which one's bloody mine? That's mine. So we'd normally come in and be exiting this away. On your bike, dude. What's that? But you're old enough that birthdays are just another day. No way, dude. A birthday is never just another day. Come on, mate. Keep the magic alive, bro. I mean, we could we could have one here, and it's uh, you know, I mean, it's not smooth, but. Might, might be quite cool actually. We could then almost have that as like a little uh, gas station or something. In fact, I quite like that. But let's let's do it here. Yeah, that, that that'll do. That'll do. So we're gonna go at least one, two. I think we'll have the chain link fence two back. So I'm gonna want a garage door. Uh, should we put it just to the side? Two, three. So let's have a garage door here. I'm trying to think if there's anything fancy we can do. Quite fancy. I, I liked what uh, Mojo did. So we actually had three here, didn't we? And then, so that would be the fourth one. So is that three blocks? One, two, three. And then we could actually build sort of a little bit of a, almost like a guardhouse or something. Uh, no, nothing fancy. Like I said, I don't, I don't want to be spending like hours on it. You know what we're like? We start building one thing before we know it. We've got some crazy ass 16 hour build on our own. Then have... As long as we do it like that, we should be okay. So, although the exit's only three wide, still get the five width block in when. I kind of quite like the look of that. It seems to work really well with the uh, Skyrim build, innit? And exit. Ah, shit. I, I, I actually deliberately didn't want it in it. That. Yep. Was I saying? <laughs> it starts off as a two minute thing. It comes a 16 hour terraforming operation. Look. <laughs> Don't listen to it, it's all downhill from here. <laughs> You'll soon reach an age where birthdays don't matter and your birthday's next week, so trust me. Is it really that bad, Sean? Come on, it's your birthday, mate. You gotta go out, celebrate, smoke a cigar, have a glass of scotch. Watch an ice film, have a curry. Go disco dancing with all the kids. <laughs> down, down the club with Grub. <laughs> we did a bit of karaoke, lads. We'll show them how it's done. Now, I do want to get rid of these horrible, horrible thieves. See, what I'm thinking is we might be able to like, put uh, a bit of a road in. Or have I completely bobbed this now? Hang on. I have to smash this out. 
Oh no, we, we, I mean we're not perfectly central, but we're not we're not looking too bad. Let's get through the two cacti. Look, so we can actually have a, a three wider road down here, uh, made out of concrete. We can actually have all like apple trees all around it. Reckon one back. Imagine this all three wide, yeah? I just fuck up. It's always oh, it's, oh, it's four wide. Why the fuck is that four wide? Since when do I ever build anything four wide? That's fucking annoying. I tell you what we'll do. We'll expand that out so it's six, so it's five wide, and then we'd, we'd, we'd have a triple tier. So that would actually be the middle point. Yeah, so we'll just add like an, an additional entrance to this. We'll extend that out one. We'll have a road coming down here. And you've got your exit route along here. We're not going to add any trees down it though because it's going to reduce visibility. So we're not going to do a mojo and have a wonderful base and then plant 6,000 apple trees. Oh, hang on. Uh, yeah, good, 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 good call. Good call. Tear, gone. Did I just go off? Like, so something's not right here. I feel like I'm going off a block. <laughs> I feel I should just start sleeping in a coffin. That's how old I feel. <laughs> That's terrible, Shelby. <laughs> Fucking hell, mate. <laughs> that's, that, that's, uh, that's, that's a bit, <laughs> bit, bit of a sad thought, isn't it? <laughs> You're a leap year -y. No, no way, beast. So let's just close that. I'm gonna have to come out a solid five. Two. That. So that's gonna have to be five on either side. So one, two, three. Just trying to think. I think what we'll do is we'll have some sort of electric lighting system. You know how we've got uh, up there. I'm um, fancying some some big spotlights up here. But anyway, but that's the entrance. Look, I think that's pretty cool. Simple, simple. We need we need some simple shit that doesn't take 16 weeks to make. Uh, right, how are we going to do the chain link fence then, guys? Let's have a look at this stuff. This is what it was all about. A new block. Well. So we've got chain link, corner top, bottom pole, chain link fence top, chain link fence, chain link pole. So we're going to want some basic chain link for the ground. So let's make... Oh, you fucking fuckball. It's forged iron, not bloody smelted steel. Oh, is it your... Whoa! Happy birthday! Well, sort of slightly in advance, Keaton. Oh, dude. Are you doing anything nice, mate? Congratulations, buddy. I hope you have a fantastic day. Sorry, I, I'm normally pretty good at not having blocks in my uh, hand, so it's a bit of a view of it for you, doesn't it? Let's uh, grab the forged iron. Bloody hell, look at this, you fucking fuck donut. Well, there's nothing I can do about it. Let's make six of that. And let's make three of those. Hang on. No, no, no. Oh, whoa, this is going to be expensive. This is going to be crazy expensive. Yeah, I might have to get rid of this, guys. Ruining my view. 
<laughs> That's it. Fuck it. Kill all the trees. Kill all the trees. They're fucking up Grum's view, mate. Right, are we, do you reckon it's going to look better on the inside or on the outside? It's quite important. I'm thinking outside of the block, personally. Uh, in fact, you know what? Let's make it easy for ourselves. Let's have it on the outside block there. Then we can still put stuff on the inside, can't we? So let's go one. That's actually a pain in the ass, isn't it? Oh. Placement on it. Oh, no, no, no. It's okay. Well, it looks nice. It looks really nice. You need to be one block higher to get the angle on it. Uh, not a problem. I'm sure once we start doing it by the bucket. So. I do like, I definitely like, it's, it's, it's got a good look to it. Hello? Keeps the visibility. And then I'm thinking maybe a little bit of uh, razor wire up there. No, I've got no idea what this is going to look like. Might have to do the offset razor wire. Uh, see if we can get up on top. It actually counts as the block outside, doesn't it? So let's just have a little... Right. Yeah, I think we need the offset stuff. Oh no, 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 check that out. Oh, yeah, motherfucker. Oh, that is sweet, bro. This is going to be the most expensive, fragile perimeter defense ever created in this game. You do know that, don't you? <laughs> How strong is the chain link fence? Not very strong at all, mate. Oh, no, yeah, don't worry, Quag. We're going to, once this is established, we'll, um,. I mean, I will at some point. I mean, uh, <clears throat> have this literally the whole way around. It's just that at the moment, I, I just can't keep terraforming every single day, mate. So it's really just a chance to see what it looks like. I mean, ultimately, we'll have like multiple exits. I'm reckoning like probably four on every single side. Uh, the only danger of that, of course, is someone leaving the bloody doors wide open. But the beauty of this is it will actually... Once it's in place from a PvP point of view, if we put the land claim blocks down, it would also make a quite a nice defensive wall. Um, but at the, at the moment, I just wanted to I just wanted to play about with the chain link, mate. It was one of those blocks that's already in the core game, but you can't actually make it, so we just simply added the recipe for it. It just feels like a bit of a, an oversight because I really kind of liked it when I saw it. Um, this is going to be this is going to be tricky. I've got to be up one block to place them. 